Welcome to the Cow Silk Podcast, Moo. We have stories. And we just finished our show here yeah, at Ship Shawana. And, gross. and uh, we're pretty, pretty sweaty here. and, you know, a little out of breath. But we realized earlier today that we had gotten our podcast all ready to send to New York. And for some reason, it just didn't happen. The iPad failed, got stuck in a power loop, and can't get out. Our episode is a power loop. Right in there with it. As we so speak. here we are again. Now we have set up a beautiful dressing room. We had a nice set. We were clear as was. day. Was you clear. can see the line in my face. We did yeah. a whole talk, and did the, but we're going to do it over because we love you guys. And uh, we have to do it over, and it has to be grainy. So I'm calling us Butch, uh, yeah. Sundance, and Emma. And um, we got um, horses right outside. Here's the thing: we wagon. told great stories, and now we've got to retell them. So please forgive us. You won't know because you can't. That's oh, nothing yeah. good. Yeah. Nothing to put it in. Okay, here we go. So, here we go. What is so, it? So, well, we better tell well, people where we're playing because, you know, needs. the early episodes in the summer, we kept getting tight. Yes, you know, yes, we got yes, so yes. excited yes. about it. Yeah, oh, not in our oh, studio. Oh, so, what are our yeah. kids coming? All right, September 8th. Yes, September 8th, September 8th is, is Vegas, Vegas at the Golden Nugget on 52 Fridays. Full band. Please come on out. We've got a big show we're planned. Really out there. We're going to do Rhythm of the World yep, uh, this time songs. through. Yeah. And uh, we're not going to start our show with Rain in the Park and other things. No. So we're not going to tell you what we're starting no. with. But that'll be a secret. That's right. Super yeah. exciting. So please don't miss the Golden Nugget on yep. September the 8th. 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 Now, and October 6th, we're at the Regent Theater in Arlington, Massachusetts. Yes. yes. People, you might as well say Boston, okay? Boston, folks. Boston. Get in your car. Get out of the Come city. On. Come to Arlington. Oh, it's going to be the full band four. again. New songs, old songs, fun songs, Q&As. Fun, fun, we have fun, fun. Q&As now. Our covers, yes. Come we'll with questions. Question and answer question time. And answer. We've got some folk. Just, it's a huge show. It's and, a huge show. Please come on out. To Arlington, Massachusetts, Arlington, Mass. on the 6th, and uh, see us play, and yep. we'll see you there. And, uh, and now, what do you have next for us, Bob? Bob well, please. I have <laughs> Tom Ball, Texas, just outside Houston, yes. on December 19th, a trio Christmas Am show. Am I in that? I'm just kidding. Yep. A trio <laughs> Christmas show. Paul and I have not done our duo album yet. Uh, Susan's have done many of her solo albums. Okay. Yes. Oh, no, man. No, but what you could do. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is listening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Anyway, what's the name of the place, Bob? Huh? What's the name of the it's place? It's Tom Ball, Texas. Tom it's Ball, a dinner Texas. theater, so you'll see tickets. It might be a hundred dollars, but that eat? includes are dinner. Are they going to be eating while they're watching us? Yes, and it only right. holds like a hundred and fifty. So. We'll reach out and get get those be a very dangerous tickets soon. Okay, but it's dangerous because if you're going to come and eat and watch, I want you to think about the possible hazards. I still want you to come, but I want you to come prepared. Okay, Paul doesn't want me to tell you there are hazards in eating and watching shows. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> well, because you go, oh, watch this, watch. Just okay, name them. okay. So Happy you're sitting show. there, and then the husband says, "Oh my God, I think they're going to do Indian Lake." <gasps> I love Indian. <gasps> oh, oh, there goes my tomato oh. into my throat because I'm so excited that Indian so Lake is there's coming. So, someone at the table put hazards. Okay. All right. Well, things can happen. <laughs> We're an elderly group playing for elderly folks, and yeah. uh, and, and maybe you're having class. mushy food, so it's not really going to be a problem. And you're yeah. probably going to be done with your dinner. The, the dinner starts like an hour and a half before the I show. I know. I'm and you, you're going to have your dinner, and then you're going to be able to have your table cleared. They'll be able to just bang on the table. Paul, might you say that they're going to have their cake and too? Maybe if they have dessert. No. Okay. I would like to say they go and have their plum. And eat it, That's right. It's Christmas. Oh, and Christmas. Christmas. So if there could be some mince meat pie there. Hold on, it's gonna be Christmas thing for you. All right, and after the well decorated. Oh, and, 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 and February eighth, we're at Bureau Beach. And I'm set on that. We'll give you more detail on that later. Yeah, we're trying and, to get uh, up to New York with that one, but like Bob said, we'll let you know how that's going. Two cruises, seventies rock and romance cruise, flower power cruise, sixties. Get on board, come and see us. Yep, yep. Uh, happy together to turn next summer. Anyway, and by the way, we have a Christmas song coming out this no, holiday yes. season. You. Do not. The song that's been lingering in the stars, from the stars, for years and years, is finally going to get locked by Omnivore and distributed to the Omnivore. world, to the earth. Christmas time is coming out as yep. a holiday 
Each of them released with our New Year's song they heard and decided it's a New Year's song and some you, good years. I can't yes. believe we fell in love with it. some good years, yes. but now it's some good New Year's. <laughs> and, and the attitude of this record company, yes, a lot of our people and we know these two songs, but most people can't. So they're going to treat it like no one's ever heard them, and out it's coming. It, it will, Very exciting. Stuff. It will envelop, by definition, our younger youngest brother, John, into the family boat for this event. Mono, Mono, Mono. So that's how that's going. And so, so look for that. The artwork see. now. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can make any of the shows that you just heard us mention, come please on, come please. on out. Come he will be having meet and greets. Well, okay. blah, 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 blah. On the Happy Together Tour, they yeah. don't want it happening. So you can bring all your elderly. eBay stuff and we'll sign all that. We're going to split the things with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing with the eBay stuff. So we'll sign 25 CDC. We were thinking of getting out of the box on the first day, but possibly, for instance, as an example, not this, but the three pairs of shoes we wore during the show. Come to the merch table. Yep, might happen. Yeah. So you never know. Cool. Yeah. Crazy stuff yeah. like that. Um, Crazy okay. Stuff. What else, guys? So we're still out here. This is our bus, as you can tell. Um, we did want to address something we haven't addressed, but it happened. We took the day off. Just took the day off from the whole issue. Well, it's funny because we did do a podcast on that day, and we were ready on that podcast okay. to mention it, but we didn't. We forgot. We yeah. literally forgot the whole point of our podcast that day. To bring to you on this day in a repeat format. Because by now you're saying, but what are, what are they, they talking, talking about? Bob, need us down there. We got canceled, as everybody knows, we got canceled from this casino night at uh, New Buffalo, Michigan, and we canceled us out of, what's it, in you know, sex I think that you know, rubbed someone the wrong way, and we got a notification to see that. To apologize for what happened, I think you think so. We did, and we had to apologize twice. Didn't like the way we did it Didn't first like time, the first time, and then finally, uh, end result of apology. Can I yes, decide on, right here? There was nothing to apologize for, it's okay? This is the bottom line. We're children, okay. but but at this point, councils were six other groups, three companies, and a 60 city tour. Needs of the many, right? So you have to get over yourself and deal with the ever bigger picture. Bigger pictures and apologize to so try to make this go. But in the end they turned us down. Yeah, they didn't took care us off the show. Apology. And uh, on top of that, they told us that our family band family was never welcome at the you know, to our roots away. Never again. Everything. And I wanna make a point that it's okay yes, to say that, that we had uh, played there uh, nine years, eight years previous, I believe this is our ninth year. And there was never a problem. And surely, if it even just asked us to take the song out, take the part out, a thousand we different offered. possibilities could have happened. But they got kind of ugly about it and then asked for that apology, which we absolutely gave because we are team players and we are the needs of the many. And they didn't like that either. And frankly, I'm left with a bit of a salty taste myself. Um, I just think that, uh, that this is a sweet little song about summer and having fun with your family and going to a lake and, yeah. like, and how it turned into cancel culture councils and now we're the big bad people i mean that anybody who knows us like all y'all anybody who knows us knows this is the opposite of who we are so that but 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 we were so upset the day we did the podcast that we were at this place we forgot to tell you that's how not happy we were, right? so Always. that's the four winds casino it's funny you guys i kind of feel you know when you watch the Olympics and the skaters do their skate yep. and then they come over and they're like, us and your guys yeah, are coaches a little bit and they're soaking wet and they're all out of breath and they go, <sighs> I feel like that because I am soaking wet. Paul, we just came off stage for real. Just came off like, stage. Like this poor guy is in an air conditioned thing with soaking wet clothes. Yeah. This oh, I'm, I can not, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. It's like, very hot on stage and one, it's very hot here in my ship. Well, I'm going to finish well, up. I want one final point. Final on four point. Points, because, I've got look, a final point. Of course, on you, but of course we it. got upset when it happened. Then you, you go through, oh, this is the, this is the canceling. So this is what happens. Now, part of a select, that's where what should never be. That that casino allowed people to come into that audience and buy tickets, knowing we were banned from it. Joe, 
and they didn't announce anything. They didn't say anything. They Some let people those people flew come there right just in. to see us. And the reason we know that, yes, is because fans have reached out to us. The reason we're even talking about it right now because yes. fans wanted to know why why they got there and they did not see us. A lot of them went there just to see us. We've been written and, to, and so, so that's why we're telling you. I mean, so the fans just wanted to know what this what the skinny was, and you just skinny. heard what the skinny is. So. Talk about it. The endomino. No, no, on to have so, your time. Susan, to, we're, we're going to move on to have your time right time. now because Susan got I, a brand new bike. I did. Oh, my bike. And it's not Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> and I had my own little, little um, Margaret O'Hara, Shirley Temple moment with lovely gentlemen friends on our tour. And it went like this. It was a very sad, sad day in where we're, where, well, well, for where us, we? the summer, we have a bike for sister. Every right. Bike. Right. And every other Too summer soon. prior to this, I always have a bicycle out here because it's a part of my wellness program. Yes. Copy that. So kid comes out with no wellness program in place, a.k.a. the bike. Wait. Wait. So girl starts to realize it's a good part of it, goes to one of her pals out here, and negotiates getting a bike out here, uh, and that goes down. But it's up to me to make it happen and to find a place to keep it and all these things. So we're in this place one day. I can't remember where it was, but where it was. It was a day off for sure. Day off. I decided to dedicate my day to getting across the highway from where the bus was parked to go to the Walmart I could see with my own eyes. And this was a highway with no crosswalks, no, no crosswalks. lights. This was a freeway. Okay, yeah, it was that freeway. Susan wanted to get. It's not wanted, a highway. I was willing. It wasn't really busy, y'all. But I got out and I had to walk across a big, long field and all this stuff. And I finally get up to the intersection of the highway freeway. Highway. And I realized that if I cross this highway freeway, a lot of my people are going to be very upset with me, even if I don't get hit when they find out I did it. So I had to turn all the way back around and walk all the way back. Then I went over to the supermarket, and I start calling lifts. So I'm going to call a lift. I says, looking for your lift, looking for your lift. Boom, can't find it. Looking for another driver. Looking for your lift, looking for your lift. Boom, can't find it. got to find another driver. Three times, I go inside the Kroger, and I say, hey, do you guys have lift or Uber? <laughs> You see, we don't have Lyft and Uber in this town. I've been wow. out in the world by myself, walking in circles for two and a half hours, and I'm sad, and I walk back to the bus. No, you really need a bike. I get on the bus. <laughs> My wellness is severely damaged. And I get on the bus at Palm Barber here. I don't, know, I don't want to see them either. My brothers and everything went bad. Then a knock comes at the door of the bus, and I freak out because I don't like answering doors with knocks, and I don't know who they are. So Susan! usually a bell collector. <laughs> Susan! So, bell South! I need Susan Clare. So I let, so somebody answers it because I'm already upset. They say it's for you, Susan. So I go to the door, and I can see as the door opens, the front of the rim wheel of the bicycle. And I start to know exactly what's happening because I know my, my guys in the Happy Together band, and I come down the steps, I turn around, there's Manny Focarazzo and Greg Smitty Smith standing there with a brand new bike for who? Me. Three of us. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Susan. <laughs> no, me. So they got me a Huffy Mountain bike, silver. So bitch. It's actually, for it's five foot six people, which I am not. I'm five five and a half, possibly five five by now, because the age factor. But I have a bike, and I have been so wellness since. So she only has eight shows to bike in. No, but I but good. I've had it for eight other shows. What, I've had it for. But a what happens to the bike after the happy? Thank you for asking, Bob. It's a people. very good question. I have a wonderful friend whose name will not be mentioned in this cast, which was named accidentally in the last cast, which we had to retort. So Ron's name won't get. Oh, whoops. Anyway, uh -huh. it's going back with our road <laughs> manager. His name will not get mentioned again, and he puts it hospital in his House garage. At his house in Georgia, and he saves it for me all year long, and I appreciate that. So, That's, does this mean that you know now, this summer, that you have a bike this summer? Yes, because the, the story, and I emphasize story, was brought to me that my tires melted against the wall of this person's garage, and therefore they couldn't bring the rest of the bike out here. I think it was just a uh uh uh, not doing yeah, it, no, done with the bike. You can tell Paul and I care for that Susan. Story was, uh, yeah. But Shocking we care for Susan. They care for We wanted her to get her bike before okay. we Paul and I will be towing motorcycles. No, so what they needed was me to get a bike, so I would set no fun out here. No, and and Susan, Susan also. Is, thanks, Bob. And Susan, look, if we want to get into riding bikes, which I don't want to do in me the either, um, then she would totally let us. Oh, yeah, gosh, yeah. Totally and all the guys. And the other weird thing that happened was, man, she, and isn't this like Christmas Day? She gets a brand new bike, and the first thing that happens is her 
tire go flat. I get a flat tire. I mean, no fun. She had, a it, she had it for 10 minutes. Drove I'm it. Came things. back and nowhere. My mother always said I'm so that's the story of the bike. That's the story of the casino. There's nothing Very like cool. this. And we went shopping the and other we day. Shop- oh, and, uh, tell me about that. Well, we bought sausage. So we figured out that our toaster oven can make sausage. Wait, can I ask a question? Yeah. Like, pretend, hold, are we going to have to do the sausage thing oh, over again? Oh, no, we got, no. Here, wait, no, they don't know what you're saying. So know, here's the deal. And we're back. It wasn't a wa- <laughs> It wasn't a Walmart run. You know about those. Right. This was a Kroger run. This is a right, where you can find Little yeah, packs of individual, yeah. individual breakfast packs. It's a scam. And then we started and we making did. those. And I got to tell you something. You last night, it, yeah. 12, right before 8, 12, we made 16 we sausages. Now, I ate At two. around 2 a.m. How many did you have? I had two. And I had two. So how many did I have? Well, that's uh, <laughs> uh, four. You 12. had 12. I had 12. Paul told me it was going to start It was two well. sandwiches, so four on each and sandwich. So some were dippers. And so we had a dipper, but we didn't have the mustard. And it took us a while to find the mustard on our tour bus here. I finally wasn't giving up. I found the mustard. <laughs> Once we got the mustard, now we're like, we're no, all we back haven't in. even eaten Frankly, sausage. I think I had three. Okay, so, I think I had three. So we're gonna, you a so a little later tonight, gonna we're going to we're, we're cook some sausage, show you how it all. rolls out. I wanted to know, it was like 2 or 3 in the morning, and it was I was tired. Am. We tell them. I was tired. Yeah. Okay, so I might be a little tired than I am right now. You might see that. But yeah, so the sausage, sausage is great. The sausage and is And I felt bomb. great this morning after I ate 12, so. Now, here's, here's He's got a good spittrich and I'm a dang. I was starving. So here's how what starts happening on the head. All... Points point to Omaha. Now Omaha is our last day. Okay, last concert. What do we have? Eight more. Yeah, yeah. This city. Yeah. Well, we yeah. just did our our eight. Out of, we out have seventy one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, sixty one. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Sixty one. Yeah. Down to eight more folks. So yes. What do we do? Pack. We're, we're all mentally eyeballing the food. We're eyeballing the kids, and we're eyeballing everything, everything as it relates to. Uh, getting less and less of it, eating it up, eating what's yes. here, getting also, ready to disembark. And I interject operation. that our last Kroger one was very systematically done because you see, you cannot go by over by because you have a so you have to go. All right, how much for this amount yeah. of time? Because often there's some food left over. We try and get it to food banks. We are somewhat successful with that. I must say, we are, as you know, and we usually. Like late in the game here, we do not go to Walmart. No more Wally's. No, Thank God. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, like so. Like, yes, yes. Yeah. But now, and you let things run out. You let them run out now, and then yeah. you go, okay, we need cokes for a couple of days. We need right. to get yeah. water up tomorrow. Roll a paper towel. Thank you guys. They give us a box of triscuits every night at our gigs. We would have sixty-two boxes of triscuits on this bus if we took every night the stuff they give us. You have to really watch but, what you're doing. But, and so, to that point, though, Susan. <laughs> So we are down on milk, and so True. we're going to need to grab a, a half gallon out of Correct. one of these and joints. And also, do we need to stock up on water? Oh, no, keep that we're water stocked up. We have now, to put three cases away today. We've done some quick mental calculations. Over the summer, for example, over the summer on the bus, we've consumed, let's say, four boxes of cereal, yes. four pounds of spaghetti. Yes. Uh, we've consumed That's pretty four much split. Bags uh, of cookies. Oh, you know, yeah. four or five bags of We've cookies. We've been a little better about the gummies. On numeral, the innumerable I bags have. of chips, yeah. cups of coffee, probably oh, in the I do thousands or hundreds. Oh, I do hope none other than. I hope we have a guest here. Please be a Guys, guest. we got a guest coming. Guess, uh, guess. Someone's coming Hold on, on the bus everyone. Right. Let's see who we Now, we're in the middle of a show. Oh, I know. It's Paul. We're in the middle of a show. Paul is returning. Dumping his horn. Oh, this is great. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul from the Classics Forum. Returning his horns. Polly, can you just We're bend down and say hi? So tell them we said yeah. hello. 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 We just got off stage, you guys. This is real time. Now, here's okay. the deal. Paul, Paul stores his horns stores in horns. Our, a bay in our on beds. our bus right. because because you protect why? Them. Why? We tell the folks why. Because we take care. Because they get banged around in the trailer, right? And then I have to keep going to the horn it's repairs in every town we stop in, and I spend all my money. Yeah. No bueno. So Tom, okay. and Paulie keeps him on here, and Paul, come on through. This, this is creates, what it looks like every night. Watch, he left. Now he lost the damn. Well, as I'm looking at right Paul's, down here, Paulie. As right I'm down. looking at Paul's soprano saxophone here, his tenor, uh, I noticed that his 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 back. See, look at it, it's looking there a little funky. Yeah, we think he needs new, new case. anvil cases. The new case. Yes, see the hook. Here's the other one. Sax. These are tenor. these are as old as his horns. He doesn't get any more live than this. That was in the seventh grade. He started playing saxophone. We work hard to work. So just know that. 
baloney because he just had to walk in. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like we're working hard. And so we're hardly working. What? See. Well, I'm just trying to think of other things All I right. had on my list that I this. threw away. Oh, oh you oh, had a lot. <laughs> See, we're much greedier tonight, which I love. You uh, cannot even see me. Now, listen, all you folks, we, we are checking the, uh, the, the info at council.com. Yeah, yeah let us know what's on your mind. Now, Paulie's got to go again, so there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Paul. I don't know what that was. Rachel, council. Oh, thanks, Paul. Thank you. We love you, Paul. Now, now, what happens next is the intermission. Which might be going on. Oh, uh, no, 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 so not yet. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, the boats are on right now. We've been on at Now, here's at some eight. fun. Now, we'll show you some pictures yeah, of this one. Right. But yeah, here's an example yeah. of what we do yeah. for people's birthdays. Okay. So, for instance, Ron Dante turned 78. Eight. Eight. Three days. Okay. Two days. Two days ago? 20 So, seconds. after the show... Uh, was it yesterday? We they took pictures, so we'll give them to you. Uh, on next week's episode, we're going to have a tour yeah, right. for you. This will be, uh, this is the second to our last where we're okay, together. No, we'll be good. back in our pockets uh, later. The okay, main thing, and this is outsourced to Susan always, is what kind of cake oh, we yeah. get the person oh, whose yes, birthday is. Job. We have yeah. tried everything. We have done nothing to the most ridiculous, expensive cakes you could ever imagine on a tour like this. Yes. To... Finally, Susie came up with something very creative. I'm out of it. I hope Take so. me through it. I would love Somebody got a picture of that. Cake, no, it's right? got a picture. Okay, got let them know. We're, we're, well, we're if show I have my phone here, oh, I can show them. We were, we were we at the fair. fair. We're going to bring it we'll up. Bring it up. Okay. We're at the fair, and Susan went out, there. out, and she got funnel cakes. She got three funnel cakes. And then that day that we went to Kroger, she bought a box of snowballs, and they were pink. And so... Well, tell I can't, us, okay, I, can't, I cannot show you the picture on this podcast. Picture and last this. night we did this because my phone just died. But <laughs> oh, here's what we did. We went. <laughs> anything can happen there. then. So here's what I did. Okay, yeah. folks, I'm sitting there and we're far, far away from any bakery. Besides that, nobody ever eats the cake. It's a waste of money. So I threw together a couple of funnel cakes with some hostess pink snowballs. That's beautiful. So I, it was a two tier. Um, and I use some coffee cup heat holder out and some insulator guys to kind of hold up the two funnel cakes. Yep. And then on the outside of those insulators, I packed around half pink host of snowballs. And then up top again, we had a beautiful topping and then yeah. some really beautiful swirly candles yeah, and some gummy bears. Now, so, look, we can, see the oh, you will. We'll make sure that gets oh, yeah, the gummy bears on top. Yeah, the picture, the picture, the picture will look The picture will come oh, in. We're going to insert it in our editing. Danielle and Nate yeah, are always yeah. real good at that. We're going to have a pictorial in next week. But um, I got to say, I feel pretty proud. And Paul pointed out it was my best effort. I think uh, it was out the here. best cake I've ever seen out mm -hmm. here visually. One year I had to use a, a, a side of Swiss cheese. Yeah. It was Bob's birthday. Right. Um, just a big block of cheese with some candles in that. Aye, aye, aye. So look at funnel cake. Who doesn't love funnel cake? Yeah. So this cake, I uh, eat. Eat. Because so, Susan yeah. and I like snowballs. Yeah. Nine years ago, yeah. my birthday is always on this summer tour. So I turned right. 65 on my first one. I'm going to turn 74 on this one. But anyway, on my 65th, the very first one, because Susan and I like hostess snowballs, she made an entire hostess snowball cake with about 20 of them. Oh. I was like, Back so then? Yeah, I did. It was yeah. awesome. Oh, white. Uh, 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 oh, white. Yeah. Yeah. You and Amy. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we were white. Oh. So that, was, that was also awesome. close to snowballs. Snowballs. Yeah, white That snowballs. was one of our better ones as well. It's quite beautiful. Like I'm that. glad you remember Bob. Yeah. Oh, have so back. anyway, what happens? So we got the cake. So what happens is when this occurs, after the show, the entire group of us gathers outside Ron and Mark Ron's dressing room. He is in and Ron America. pretends he doesn't know what's happening. We do it every year. Right, he right. Ron knows. He's oh, I'm just getting chased after the oh. show. How uh, and then we started hmm. singing outside what? of the trailer, and then door opened, and we filmed from inside out us coming in singing. It yeah. was the closest hey. thing to Christmas caroling that oh, we've ever done. Who Maybe we well, could edit that into this this particular the, we, just the song. We, we could get that film. film. Well, the uh, thing about Rachel we'll Ray Red. The thing about yeah. Ron, everybody, we'll is show that, that film is that, that he was wished happy birthday in the show. All he day. knew that we knew that it was his birthday. Yeah. So the show's over, and he comes up to me, and he goes, Sorry, 
Uh, I said, so don't get a cake. Just go to your dressing room and do what you do. I said, Ron, I <laughs> I said, Ron cooperate after the show. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah. We give, I said, Ron, you got 77. Yeah. Come on, Ron, Ron. You know the drill. Just another Anyways, one. Anyways, just one. part of the hey, fun we'll and the games fun out here. We will look at footage of that. And, and, and we're going to add it to this episode. And maybe we can insert it. Just a happy birthday. Happy birthday. It'll be beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Get a nice, crisp, a picture of that cake. It will be. It'll be great. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a crisp picture of the cake. Yeah. And I would like to describe, we were all shocked by this when it first happened. Was at the end of the tour is like this, okay? The very last note of Happy Together ends. Finale is done. Good night. And then everybody takes off like a bullet. And I, I know, know you guys think, oh, there's a sick dinner. No, but no I'm going to no, miss no. you. Stay hey, the same. A, and so the long with all the staff and the crew and everybody. No, oh, that ain't no, no. So long, sucker. Yeah, it's almost like we know we're going to see you next summer. They kind of kick you to the and, curb. And we they will be to the curb. They do. And we'll be completely packed before the show. Yeah. So when that show's over, we'll yeah. walk into, because we will get a hotel room yeah. that yeah. night, because we're going to fly out the very next morning, and we'll yeah. all be in our outfits, grabbing our suitcases, go to our rooms, and make our suitcases ready. Correct. And so, then go yeah. to the airport and go home. And, yes. and you I, wake up at home and you go, oh, and I just do what we just did. Yeah. And three months goes like, that it does. It so does. Fast. I start packing approximately two weeks before we uh, well, we quit because I, I Susan quit. spreads about. I call Mayflower. They come and stuff right. Uh, uh, medical report: <laughs> We've had no vocal problems this summer. Yeah. None. Happy about None. that. None. One. I will say about that, Bob. Not yeah. to, to interrupt you, but so Susan, you know, so usually I'm out there and I'm drinking water and I need water and I'm thirsty and my throat's dry. So when I'm up there after the first song, I'm looking for water anywhere, and they're hard to open on stage because the caps are tight and the water blows everywhere. So Susan comes to me and she goes, "Oh, I have to try the honey thing." So man, so and so we, the we watched little Anthony, and he swears by a teaspoon of honey before he goes on, yep. and his voice is just slicker oh, than man. slick. Slicker so than we started. Man. I started. Susan's always done it. I started doing this honey thing, and I haven't had water on stage or before the show and he is in a long time, slicker. and I have not. I'll tell you, lost my voice. Indian Lake has never <laughs> sounded more better. Never. It's honey, honey, never. honey. The throat, but seriously, the y'all, is we have gone no, from, it's true. It's true. you know, you hit the clinker in the afternoon, you get that stuff on your throat, nighttime is the right time. It, it's it's like uh, taking, uh, what do we like? What do, what do we like? Yeah, yeah, it's like taking a shot. Yeah, prednisone. Uh, some prednisone. prednisone. It's like dropping a couple of prednisone pills that we don't have. Um, so we like have it. honey. But we're that very happy. Good. We yeah. know you're fascinated it's by the, on the We know you're fascinated by the other bus that had a sick summer that had yeah. germs over oh there. My God. People got sick oh, on the other bus. Man. It's like bronchial bus. So yeah. we've yeah. kind of been, you know, no uh, on the bus over there. Stay, and that guy yeah. we don't mention his name, he's saying you guys stay away. Don't from the kiss bus. anybody yeah. over there. I'm a hugger. Bus. He wanted me uh, I got uh, I got put off a yeah. hugging, no, no hugging, hugging, no, no nada. nada. Yeah, nada, 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 nada. It's like nada, this. Nada. You guys, I think one thing that could actually happen in this episode of our podcast is we could get so lost with our listeners that we miss them. Oh, I have a good... We have five minutes before the intermission. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think we crazy. need to wrap this up. Because we're going to wrap this up because we're going to go find your birthday footage. You know, we're going to find... All kinds of stuff is going to be thrown out the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Since we're late anyway, a nice, yeah, sorry. a nice HD picture of that Toad, cake. HD coming but your way. Cake. Yeah. Uh, nice. Thanks, Polly. I'm sorry. I ran out of Okay. This is how we are today. So here we go. Okay, so peace out. Okay. Love you. Peace, peace out. out. We love everybody out and there. And uh, we'll see you at all those shows we talked. We promised we'd make sausage for you later. This we're is promised. That we're on the bus. Everyone's in bed but us because Wait. of our promise to you, Wait, our no. loyal listeners. Oh, we're well, really, no, we really are. Right. Sausage. And here's the we'll sausage. Let me get a close food up. on the bus. No. There it is. Really? Well, here, I just want to show them this. Yeah, the so drink. we yeah. just get it. It comes in a two pack. Yeah. And what we realized last, uh, last yeah, week or so that we can cook these sausages. It takes 20 minutes. And um, here they are on this paper. Ah, that's 
Oh, wow. No. Okay. That's our toaster no. oven. Oh, ooh, wow. Oh, okay, okay. And so now we have this set at 450. 450 people. And I want everybody to know, so the last batch of these I made, oh, we can't let the heat escape. Um, the last time I made these, this grill here was down at the bottom, okay? What I've done is moved it to the very top, so we're gonna be right near the filament that is gonna brown these babies like you've never seen before. Now, Susan's, I got, I got Susan's like a creature behind you. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, so now we just put them in. Oh, look, we're getting a golden light here. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we put them in there, and boy, we just uh, watch whatever we've been watching. Okay. Just let time go by. Uh, I do wanna let you know that- We're watching uh, to catch a smuggler. 20 there you 12, go. No, 12, 11, 30, 12, 30, 30. It's 20 of, what, uh, so if it were 12, okay, so it's 20 of 2, 20, 20 of two, 2 in the morning, right. and this is when we like to make our special thing, because <laughs> a lot of people don't like the smell of sausage at night, exactly. in the morning, so we're going to leave this, like I said, uh, you don't need to use this, you just use your watch, and so I'm set at 1130, but that's West Coast, 1130, 1230, so it's actually 20 to 2 a.m. So in the morning. we'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, so. Hey guys, so I just put it in right now, <laughs> and I'll see you when it's done. Let's take a look at our sausage right now. Oh, oh my God, it is crispy oh. Kringles. It's so beautiful looking. Mm. And I'm gonna tell you, it's 4.50 mm. for about a half hour. Okay. And you wanna make sure the rack is up by the filament. Uh, so you get a nice crisp on the outside of those. If you wanted to, you could flip them, but we're not into that. So that's it from the sausage, 2 a.m. in the morning, cooking sausage. From the tour bus. From the tour bus and from beyond. Effingham, Illinois, in the middle of the United States of America. And I'd like to thank my crew, Bob, on camera and narrating, and Susan. Yeah, you go. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no. Isn't that funny? I thought I would like get that it. or something. Oh, no, I know what I need to yeah, do. Yeah, flip it. Uh, so we're going to flip it see. so you can see the whole crew. All right, hold on. Where's my flip knob? Uh, it looks like two uh, arrows. I don't think I have one. Spinning. That's okay. It's really okay. you two. I'm directing. Okay, so anyway. Susan's the slasher uh, in the back. She, it looks like she's doing damage. And so we're going to probably cook, cook, you know, like we're going to eat 12 of these tonight or yeah. eat whatever's not eaten. Yeah. And we're really crisping them up this time. So yeah, we are. I just want, very crispy uh, so tonight. Very crispy. This is sausage night. It's Wednesday night or Thursday morning, uh, 2 a.m. And look at get yourself a toaster up. All right, everybody. Over and out. Bye.